I'm not crazy. I swear, I'm not crazy. I can't be. It's the school. It's Monokuma. He's doing this to me. It's these students. They're all crazy. They're out to get me. It's every single one of them. They're all crazy. It's okay, fam. I'm not that crazy. See, Monokuma gave me pills to keep my craziness under control. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Alright, guys. We've actually got to uh, talk to all 14 students that are left up in the school and explore around a little bit to see if maybe there's an exit. And that's what we're going to be doing here now. Okay. So, up here. And... Looks like a music room. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the music room? Looks like it's locked. Huh, it won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. I just see. Oh, Mono Cubs. What's up, guys? How you doing? Ah, they're here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy smancy ride. Seems like a place for egg eggs. Hmm? Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? Stupid! What the hell? Why would you tell them? We we're trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set these rooms up for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for all, all the other ultimates too. Well, actually, most of them are still hidden though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... It is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it all ready. Your asses and wait. <laughs> oh gosh, okay guys, Mona, Mona Kid is now my favorite person ever in the book. I, I have to agree with that. The hell you saying? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say, hold your horses? <laughs> Mona Kid is such a dummy. <clears throat> what are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mona Dan. Oh, poor Mama Dan. So long, <laughs> It seems like the music room. But I guess it's an ultimate research lab. Hey! Do you think this... There really are other rooms like this for everyone? Mm. I wonder about that, too. Anyway... I thought it was the music room. Oh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. That you can, Kyrie. That you can. All right. What's this one? This door is locked. You're right. Okay. And we're going around the corner. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, hey. hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh, um, huh? Hmm. Did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey! Hello! Uh, um, huh? What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. And felt her skin squish beneath my fingertips. Um, poking her cheek doesn't work either. Maybe she is a dog. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. Uh, no, thank you, Kaede. <laughs> Just do it. It's fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek, 
I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. I see. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait! Well, if you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? <laughs> because she wasn't responding. No. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So, I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Um. You were ignoring us? It, isn't that a bit rude? What? Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Alright! So now, let's talk. Do we, What do you want to start with? My favorite Doraemon episode is 53, the one with the security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can we, can you tell us your name? Huh, my name is Kamuki Shirobani. I'm the alternate cosplay. Well, nice to meet you, sir. sir oh my gosh. Samugi Shirogane. Okay. So maybe Shiragane, the ultimate cosplayer. So, you're a cosplayer. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that quite a lot since I'm so plain. No. I, I mean, it makes sense. You have this strange, almost... <laughs> Hold on, guys. Sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you've got people oogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um. Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. Oh my god, yes she does, Suichi. Yes she does. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right! I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Mm. Oh, you're pretty intense. Oh. It, it makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. That's not a big deal. People just crowd around me like I'm I'm panda at the zoo. Mm. <laughs> That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Hey. Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Oh, yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Suichi. It's from that one thing. Oh, that bronze sta dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. That's kind of cool. Is that a good Shenron to you guys? It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look out of place? Yeah. Uh, now that you mention it, you you're right. It sort of bothers me, too. Um, this is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I, I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Uh, are we going to be okay? Uh, are we going to be able to get out? Um... Hey, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. mm, that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that got me. That got me. I'm just, just kidding. Well, it's it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaeda. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know. It's just better to be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. 
Bam! We got Samugi's report card. Okay, fam. Samugi Shiragane. I have to give her a rating so far. Between being normal or crazy. Shiragane seems to be very normal. So I'm going to put her on the normal checklist for right now. But I'm sure there's even more crazier folks out there. You just see that. So let's check out this dragon statue. What is this? It looks like a dragon statue. But why is there a dragon statue in the school's hallway? No. I have no idea. Hmm, maybe it's a part of the school's official art collection or something. Uh, 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 still, no, no idea. Yeah, it definitely, it's like it's got one glass eye or something. It's like holding a Dragon Ball or something. Yeah, it looks like, uh, it looks like Shenron. Alright, let's go check out what other places. Ooh, the bathroom, the bathroom. And the girls' bathroom, guys. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm just a boy in disguise. This will be fun. I'm not creepy, I swear. This is the girls' bathroom, right? You know? Shuichi, do you mind waiting here? Okay. Good. Sure. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. I just gotta go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I have to admit, if I was in Shuichi shoes, I'd be a little weirded out too. Alright. What is in here? Uh, the toilets seem normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. That is true. This whole place looks like somebody forgot to garden in here. Smack that shit off the place. Alright, so I explored it a little bit, and it doesn't look like there's anything strange about the place. Alright, so let's check out the boys' bathroom. Oh wait, that's right, I'm, I'm a girl in this game. This is the boys' bathroom, right? You can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um. Uh, if you want, I, I can go in and look. Huh? Wait, wait I, I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building, and anything could be in there. Even a gigantic turd. Wait here a minute. I'll go clean it up. With that, Sweetie opened the door and walked inside, and he left the biggest dump in the world. <laughs> it was just a normal bathroom, nothing out of the ordinary. Ordinary, no one was inside. I see. I, I see. When was all that flushing, then? Hmm. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. Could be. There's someone. Hey there, what's up, buddy? Hey. Oh, hey. There. Did you guys get kidnapped, too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Uh, situation could be better, though. Yeah. Hey, yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um. If you're asking us, then you don't remember either of you? Ah, so you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here's the same. Huh? E everyone? No. I, I asked all the others too. They said that they don't remember either. So, the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But... Uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Whoa. Well, I guess we're in a pretty abnormal situation, then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, wait. 
amnesia is a stretch. We're probably just confused. I, I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe even brainwashing. <laughs> in, in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The, the outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I, I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I, I just don't remember. Is, is that true? Oh, yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, I never did tell you my name. It's not like I already told you, but then forgot I did, right? No. Uh, no, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Mon. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment, but I promise I'm not that yet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rantaro Mon. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what kind of ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We weren't, we aren't going anywhere for a while. Please. Stop that. We'll, we'll escape soon. I really think it's gonna be that easy. What, what do you mean? No. Nothing. It's just a feeling. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Alright, so we got a friendship fragment. Rantaro Amami, you have no talent. Okay, you are pretty suspicious, and fam, I, I would agree that he's a suspicious person, but he's not really a creepy person, so he's probably somebody who I can trust, but it's going to be important to the plot. I don't know who he is, so you're going to be on the not creepy side of my list. Okay, let's go check out what is inside the warehouse. Holy shit, it's big. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Look at it, guys. Holy Look, you can look around and explore everything in here, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Hey, there's the little foul mouth bitch. God damn it. Where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey! Hey, what are you looking for? Bitch. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Hey! Hey, uh, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like that. Hey! Hey, crotch rot! You staring at my tits? Huh? What? A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boobed hottie like me. Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. Can I really? Mm. Uh, uh, no, no, I, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. You mother. Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. Okay, that caught me off guard. Okay, they, they caught me off guard. Okay. I can identify pervs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you hide- that's why you wear your hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. But everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. Stop it. 
Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I really want to. <laughs> what the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? T tell the word you world you're sorry. If you startle me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the world. Hey, hey your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? That's what I'm saying. Huh? You seriously don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. Hmm. Well... I'm the one, the only, the legendary, ultimate inventor herself, Nui Ruma! Alright, nice to meet you, Nui Ruma. Um, I've never heard of you. So, what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets the I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure! I was inspired after I realized how much people waste on sleep, or how- I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gang. Huh? Wait, wait, really? That was your invention? Uh, some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Shh, your friends sound like total plebs. My invention was nothing. It, it doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure. Just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to come to some company and I never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than do your stuff while sleeping inventions. By the way, you were looking for something earlier. You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? <laughs> Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are, are you hurt or feeling sick? No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking dolls off. Whoa, she's a druggie. Uh, I just want to set my mind free and forget about this shitty situation. Jeez. Damn, she looks like she just had an orgasm from all that. Wait, what? you can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. What the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get Lucy Goosey. Ooh, did you get Lucy Goosey on me? Please forgive me. Don't, don't, don't tell anybody I said that. I, yeah, never mind. So, so are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity. She's definitely beyond insane. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Alright. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miro mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? That's a good question. What's up with him on that one? Why did he freak out about his hat? Definitely something important. I don't have any guesses on it yet, but but it's got to have some importance to him specifically. Maybe even to do with his detective thing, because he says he doesn't like, he doesn't believe he's a detective or something. There's probably a history behind it. I don't know at all. But Mew, girl, you are a crazy bitch. I'm sorry. You're getting on that list. Damn. Mm. Okay, and. I have to admit, family, she does have some really big honkers, doesn't she? Okay, we're back in the hallway, and I'm feeling a bit peckish. This is a dining hall. Let's have a look to see what's in here. Alright, everything looks like it's... Damn! Where's the gardener when you need it? Fuck, everything's covered in grass. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. 
Right, probably. Um, let's see. Talk to her. Then we'll talk to a little witch girl. Whoa. Alright. So who are you? I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? That's... I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes! I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Akito. Huh? Uh, uh, Akito, then you're... Oh, yeah! I'm Tango Chabashira! Ultimate Aikido Master. Ooh, shit, she's fighting spirit. Tenko Chabashira. Damn, and she got a little more right there. Ooh, I thought I always imagined Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. Whoa, Kaede, Kaede, Samugi, and now Tenko. Guys, I think. I think that Kaede is playing for the other team, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They're cute! Oh, stop it! I'm not cute. Uh, my face crinkles when I suck down a shape. Uh, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Oh, that's a little weird. Um, I see. Uh, but I think you're cute. Right, Shuichi? Ask Shuichi. Huh, oh, oh, uh, right. <laughs> I like how you respond. What happened to her face? Huh? <laughs> What's the matter? Your face looks really intense right now. You look like you would kill somebody. <laughs> I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Uh, de de degenerate males? Y you mean men? Are, are, are you uncomfortable around them? It, it's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're, you're right. <laughs> That's a way big pro bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey! Ah, uh, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right! Uh, Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So, your Akito's all self-taught. She's a spunky girl. Um, Tenko's not necessarily, like, she's not creepy. But she's a little bit weird by the fact that she hates males. So, I'm not going to say she's on the crazy side or creepy side. She's definitely on the normal side. I'm good to talk to you, Tenko. But I feel like we're going to have trouble connecting because technically I am a guy and you're a girl. Damn girl, don't, don't throw me into the wall, please. <laughs> didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to look up your skirt. Wait, you're not supposed to know that. All right. Let's see. Talk to the witch girl. Uh, are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out at this place in a jiffy. No. I I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic. Because I'm a mage. You're a... You're a what? Huh? She's a wizard, Harry. She's a wizard. <laughs> that was funny, actually. A, a mage. Yeah, that's right. I, I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mate. <laughs> Girl sounds bored out of her mind. <laughs> oh yeah, they're all confused. She doesn't know what to say there. I'm officially called the Ultimate Magician. Oh, okay, the Ultimate Magician, Himiko. And you dress up because you're a mage. Okay, I see that. 
Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Um, look what you did, Kaede. You made her sad now. Uh, magic does exist. Huh? Um, because I'm a mage. Um, You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I I'm actually a mage. Huh? J just a ruse. Uh -huh. You guys might not know them, but uh, there's a group called the Magic Castle. Uh, also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win the Magician of the Year award. I see. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But it's a ruse. Why you? They're, they're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. <laughs> but I'm not a magician. I, I'm a mage, and no one believes me. Um. There, there. Uh, don't be sad. Hey! Well, you could just show us your magic, then we would believe you. Good point, Shuichi. That's right! Yeah, help us out with your magic. Uh, take us back to when we originally... No. Magic isn't all that powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I, I see. Uh, then what can you do? You're right. I, I can choose the card you picked. Blow out coins and release doves. Nah, if I get serious, I could even saw someone in half. But uh, those are ordinary magic tricks. Uh, yeah, that's what that sounded like. Okay. So she is a little bit weird, and she might have a screw loose a little bit. All right, guys. I sorry. Himiko, you're, you are a little bit crazy. I'm gonna have to put you on the crazy side. I have not been downstairs and I have not been in this classroom. Alright, let's go check out this classroom. Who is in here? Hey! Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Uh, please stop! Don't don't come any closer. Uh, that boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. Uh, what's happening here? That's a good question. What is happening? All right. Um. Let's talk to you first. <laughs> come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A, a robot? What is it? What is it? Are, are you another robophobe? Did he just call him a robophobe? <laughs> I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic mo remark... I have a ro recording function and... You make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. Wait, are, are you a robot? Are you for real as a robot? No. Are, are, are you one of the monocubs? Do not compare me to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Alright, good to meet you, Kiba. The ultimate robot. Uh, uh, ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Uh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. Ooh, that is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. For a little kid. Oh, a robot and a supreme leader? <laughs> Neither of those makes any sense. This is hurting my head. By the way. By the way, I, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Oh, rude. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. 
<laughs> Just kidding. That is not funny. You are not funny. I? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! Do not mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um, Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his child. And he taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Hey! Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey! Oh god, did he really ask that question? Please do not ask such ridiculous questions. I only asked because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. <laughs> oh, this guy's great. I'm gonna love Kokichi. I can tell it already. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? S seriously, the supreme leader of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? So, you were just lying now? It's true! Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey! Uh, by the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It, it's a secret, you know? Because it's a secret organization. But... But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Please. Hey, everything you said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's got to be a lie too, right? Oh dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you are not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. Are you mad? Are you going to hit me with a rocket punch? can't. I don't have that function. Oh, man. You're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is a supreme leader. leader. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna start off with Kibo over here. Kibo. My brother, you weren't suspicious at first, but now you are. When you say that you're not suspicious, person, that makes me wonder about you more, brother. So, but you're not creepy. So, I'm gonna have to put you in the not crazy kind of category. But I still think you were very suspicious, fam. I know there's something with him. I can just tell it. And Kokichi. Okay. Kokichi. You are definitely going to be an interesting character. I can tell it already. There's going to... You're going to probably be like a Nagita in here. Hopefully without the Hope Boner. But, uh... I gotta say... Kokichi... You are definitely leaning towards the crazy side. I'm going to put you on the crazy side. 
because yeah, I don't know what to think of you. Now we just gotta go down into the basement. Shuichi. Um, what should we do, Shuichi? You wanna head down? I don't know, the basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution, with you at the front. Okay. Ah, so I'm in the front. I, I see. <laughs> with hesitant Shuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. I just put Shuichi up in front, man. Shuichi, if shit goes wrong, you're the first to die, okay, brother? I kind of feel bad. That's kind of mean. It, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Uh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We should look in the base around the basement some more. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's enter in the library real quick then. Hello. Oh, shit. Somebody left the library, miss. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Mm. Is this a library? You're right. And there are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are, are you a neat freak, Shuichi? No. Uh, no, it's... I was just wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? No. Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Alright, cool. Let me see what the globe is about real quick. What a beautiful globe. Okay, is there, there's nothing about the globe. Okay, whatever. Alright, hello. Who are you? You look very... Um... Off-putting. Hey! Um, are, are you an ultimate student too? Yeah, that's right. Uh, is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. Hi. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Shuichi Saihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez, you're not... Suppose you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Maki Harukawa, the ultimate child caregiver. You've got kind of a deep voice for your character. I see. I'm surprised. I, I don't look like someone who likes kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, uh, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? She really doesn't like to talk, does she? Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive if they like you that much. Hey! And then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Yeah. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? So what? Uh, nothing. I, I just grew up in an orphanage, and I got saddled with helping out a lot. An orphanage. Huh, I see. Um. Ah, oh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Um, how would I know? Mm. Well, fair point. Hmm. The monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Mm. Hey, boy detective. Shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? Uh, what? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is more important. Well... 
Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. Uh, if they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together? With strangers? You're a naive fool if you think I can end the, if you can end this so easily. Damn. Damn, okay, I thought Kokichi's suspicious, but this girl is. A conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. And that was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. I wonder if she's got some past behind it. She, she maybe she didn't want to be her ultimate talent that she is. Huh, I don't know. Naki, you are suspicious, but you're not really a creepy person. I don't get that vibe from you. Um, I'm gonna have to put you in the not creepy section, seriously. But I wonder, guys, fam, I wonder. I wonder what's like what's going on with her, seriously. All right, we haven't met all 14 students yet, but this is the last place I've been to. They gotta all be in the game room then. We're still shy on some people. Huh? It, it looks like a game room, but this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, it certainly is strange. That is true. Damn, it looks like the games, though, are all busted up as fuck. What now? Sheesh. What a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um. Are, are we really trapped in here? I mean, there must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys were walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Dude's been to prison. Huh? A prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Damn, got a got a deep voice for his character. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Bro, Ryoma, and he's the ultimate tennis pro. Ryoma Hoshi? Really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a wait. Hold on, before he took down a mafia by himself. Whoa. I remember correctly. The papers said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills in him. Damn! Guys! Did you see? Did you. Can you read what I'm saying? Fuck! What the hell, really? Hmm, <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Hmm. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. What do you mean, Ryoma? No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly... Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, Ryoma's pretty cool, though. Like, Ryoma is actually cool because I actually play tennis myself and I find it interesting with him and he's got a he's really got a suspicious past I kind of wonder what's up with him um no I don't think you're creepy though I, I think that you've had something happen to you though um so no you're definitely go, not on the crazy list for you oh the gate is open Oh, um, we couldn't go here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Alright, cool. Uh, 
Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... dun da 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 An exit! Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Oh, wait, I, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Yeah, it works. Don't worry about worrying about that is not is necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh. Bro, you are weird. Oh, uh, you wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Alright, nice to meet you, Cora The Ultimate Anthropologist? What's up with the mask, though, over your face? Oh. Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, true. Sure. Anthropology is... Studies... Customs, legends, folktales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Whoa. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Oh, um, I find all aspects of humanity even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Ah, people are beautiful. This guy looks like a creep. Turns out this, he is one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? So. And you should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Oh, dude, fam! This guy is creepy as fuck! Okay, Korkia! You don't even go in the creepy. Kyo, you go in your own category. Creepy for Kyo. Fuck. Dude, I don't even want to know who that fucker is. Fuck. Ugh. Oh, shit. Shoichi. Then let's go. Uh, okay. Okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just... Oh jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? Kaede. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Shuichi. Now she's got, like, a lot of, like, confidence. I, I set myself up and with newfound strength walked boldly toward the doors. And doors are gonna be locked, right? Or, like, how they were in the game. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by... Blue skies. Bright sunlight. Gentle wind. And... Holy shit, what is that? A wall? It's a cave. Dude, are we trapped in a cage? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. 
no matter where we looked ahead, behind, above, or all around. The cage surrounded the entire school. Fuck. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Okay, well, maybe they can tell us about something. So, wait, that's funny, there's a... Isn't there a cage back behind there, and they're in a cage? That's weird. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell off. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Get a rock hard rager! <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I, I'm getting kind of used to that, though. Yeah. That's, but it's awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? The end wall? That's right. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What, what are you talking about? What? Hmm, what were we talking about? Yeah. Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Oh, Stop laughing and explain yourselves. Oh. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, an ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted as the wall as loud as I could. Someone, please help us! Please, help us! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Please stop it, you'll hurt your throat. That's right! <laughs> Scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us. Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait! Say something! Hey. One of you, just answer! Damn it! Damn it. Hmm. One of them is ignoring the mechs only because he refuses to open his heart. You can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass! Shut up. Pretty monocubs, you may really not be tough and whatnot. What is this? You think it's the school. What is all this? You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. Actually... But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Uh, under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Mm. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the X's on autopilot. Huh? The X's? Hell yeah! Once part of a biker gang, the X's now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade players. Stupid! Seriously, knock it off, you guys. Those sound like douchebags of backstories like those. So long, farewell! <laughs> wow. That was interesting. And there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us? Jeez! Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slapped both cheeks as my face grew warm. I could feel my determination returning. Hey! Suishi, let's go find a way out. Bam! Slammed his head, uh, him upside his head just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! 
the fuck, Kylie? What was that? You know? Sweetie, I'm not great at motivating others. But we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but do it eventually somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we want to all get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Whoa, like, Kaede is like the motivator of the group. I like that. I like that we're playing as that person for some reason. Uh, maybe she'll be like the ultimate hope at the very end of this, but who knows. Hello, buddy, what's up? Who are you? Jeez, how did they even make this big-ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape them. Hey. What are you guys complaining? Huh? huh? Listen up. We complain and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. <sighs> Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Uh, the universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> All right, so you're the ultimate astronaut. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course. No one just can get up there. Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I, I see. You're still just a trainee. But you know. But I am the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him force some stuff for me. Jeez. That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me, and let me in anyway. Of course I aced the exam, too. Jeez. That's so reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. But you sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, you do. Got it. Yeah, I mean, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not even for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Let's do it. There are no walls you can get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be? So, do you have any ideas? That's not the problem. Oh no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Uh, he seems pretty cool, but... If you guys have seen the, the first Dang and Ropa game, he seems like a little bit of an idiot. He reminds me of Yasuhiro. I hope he's not another Yasuhiro, because, oh my gosh, that'd be bad. Oh, dormitory rooms. Okay, let's go check this out. But for Kaido Momota, I'm going to have to say, Kaido, you're going to be in the normal category. Because I don't see any problem with you, buddy. Um, this building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. And they have pictures on them. These must be the dormitories. Very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you again. Why, hello, Bear. We're intruding. Sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? What the hell you saying? Because this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> we, we finished setting up the showers. Now you can go pee. Hey. Why don't they just use the toilets? <laughs> huh? Even for number two? Ah. Wait. <laughs> what did he just say, guys? Hey, do, do you go number two in the shower? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Wait, is that it? What the hell is that? 
What do you mean, our home? Could it be? They mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? Stop it. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Alright, there should be three more people left to talk to. Let's talk to her. I failed to see their objective. What do you mean? If they're holding us here for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. Good detective skills. In light of this, I have failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Mm, culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but for what reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Ah, so you're the ultimate maid. Hmm, I do require a service. Can you help me with a special problem down here? I seem to have poison in my groin area. Could you suck it out for me? You didn't hear anything. Me? Hang in Ropa 2 if you haven't seen that show. That's where that's from. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, wait, I've heard of Karumi Tojo. You, you have. You know of everybody, Shuichi. An ultimate with the incredible intellect and strength. Working as a private maid. I heard that her work's so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's a, that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. You did what? Damn, yeah, she she must be popular and important. She can, like, get sent to kill a nation or something. That's what I'm thinking right there. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. May I? Well, moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um. What would you do, Kalina? I do not agree. I have no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid, after all. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please. Think about what you desire for yourself, and what you desire for me. For everyone. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve. Even in a situation like this, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. That's different. Huh. Yeah. Kurumi? I, I'm interested in you, like, apparently you've got, like, some really badass backstory going on, but, like, I don't think you're crazy. I'm gonna put you in the normal side for right now. But let's explore a little bit. Got, everybody's got little pictures, and where's my room? Ah, there's my room. I don't plan on staying here long enough to meet a room. Okay, well, alright, fine. Let's leave them. There should be two more people. Two more people, I believe. Alright, so... Can't go that way. This looks like a patio area. Hello, buddy, what's up? Oh, bro. Hey, wait, you have no... You have no shoes. What's up? Who are you? Whoa, this guy looks scary, and he's so big and muscular. 
Um, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Huh? Uh, thank you? Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gunta's scary looking. Uh, most people not want to talk to Gunta when meeting for first time. Cause Gunta gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gunta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gunta. That's weird. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh! Oh, right. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, um. Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Gonta Gokuhara. Dude, did I say Goku? Bro! I'ma call you, I'ma nickname you Goku now from now on, man. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Oh, thank you. Oh, that, that is, he's, he's, he's blushing. That's funny. Aw, uh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly for me being so scared at first. Oh, Gonta scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I... No, it's okay. Gunther used to it. Gunther called scary since he was kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Oh, Gunther see. Kid Gunther bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gunther. So kid Gunther play alone. That how Gunther come to like bugs. But when Gunther really focus, it easy to lose track. One day Gunther go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. I see. Man, sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah. Took ten years though. Whoa, ten years? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ten years. But Gonta fine. New family take care of Gonta. Mm. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people. Wolf. Oh! I get it! He's like a Tarzan, like Goku kind of character because he's so innocent. And he's so strong. Okay. Huh? Wolves? What? But they really nice. Because of forest family, Gunta learned to speak bug and animal. Gunta! As thanks, Gunta wants to show forest family what great gentleman Gunta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman gonna thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects. That's strange, not even one bug. You like bugs too? Whoa, what happened to him? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Dude, looks like he went Kyle Ken on your ass. Oh, no, I, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait! Then, you hate bugs? Oh, shit, no. Shuichi, no! You hate bugs! That's not true. Um, you, you love bugs. You love them, right? Shuichi, oh, shit. Goku, go to go, go to Goku is gone fucking Super Saiyan, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, of course I do. I love bugs. Switchy, yeah, get, get the through his head. Oh, fuck. Thank goodness. Oh, oh, okay. That good. No bad person like bugs. What the fuck? That was scary. Oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either. But it might be best to hide that. That is a good thing, because Gonta... You crazy, my friend. You crazy. But you're not, like, creepy crazy. You're definitely kind of normal, so I'm... I'm gonna put you on the normal section because I don't think you're... I don't think you're crazy like you might kill somebody. But I think that... Yeah, you're just weird, bro. But damn, going to you're cool though, bro. Your your name is Goku. Okay, what is this place? This is the last place there is, anyhow. So it's gotta be where the last person is. It is. Ah, okay. It's called the Shrine of Judgment. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Whoa, damn. Woo! Guys, we got some fan service here, man. Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Nice to meet you. You're very good. You're pretty, very dippy. Uh, You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. Cause a tour system. A tour. Okay. Who's that? Huh? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, a tour. The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly to vote. Um, do, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, hmm. I do both. I paint paintings, I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. How divine. I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um. And an offering? Uh. Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but. Don't. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Bro, she crazy. Oh, shit. Go go away. Don't worry. No, 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 no. That's a good thing, I think. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'm gonna pass. I see. I see. What about you, then? Uh, me, Shuichi, get the fuck out of there, dude. Who is blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! It won't hurt a bit. Oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't run away. Oh, fuck. Shuichi, get away. This girl is so weird. Yeah, Angie, you definitely got put in the weird category. I'm sorry. Was that the bell? Uh. Kaede, look. The monitor. Thanks for playing with us! You bastards! I kept you bastards waiting, huh? Alright! Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Dude. We finished our preparation. Hey! You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long! That's really weird. Jim, opening ceremony. Hey! Kaede, um, what should we do? Um. What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. And true, but I'm, I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. All right, man, all 16 students, and now we've got to uh, go to the gym. All right, so we're going to go into the gym next and find out what the Monocubs want with this and find out where Monokuma is because we haven't seen him so far. Um, we've met all the students so far, and I've kind of got a list of what's going on. But guys, I want to find out. Who do you guys think is your favorite so far? I have to admit, I have a few that are my favorite, but I have to admit, I like Gonta so far. Um, let me know down in the comment section below, who do you think your favorite character is? And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content as I publish it. Alright guys, have a good day!